Hello there, you're welcome to this vocal mixing tutorial where I'll teach you how to use Harmony Engine by Anteros to get great harmony effects for your vocals. All right, let's get started. So before we get started, this class is an excerpt from our master class on vocal tuning and pitching in Udemy. You can simply click the link in the description below to get access to this course. And also don't forget to join our Telegram community where you can access project files, loops, kits, and so much more. So you can easily follow us on our tutorials right here on YouTube. All right, let's get started with the lesson. All right, so now let's see how we can transform this backup vocal here and create a harmony out of it. So this is how it sounds right now. It's already tuned by the way. So, auto-tune is G major, that's the key. So, we'll come here, G major. So now, we're going to pick out vocal parts. We'll solo it first, and then we'll come here. And then we'll turn on our um, harmony engine. So you see how it sounds so we, we may not need all of this yet so i will mute i can mute this and then hear how it sounds with just this and i can adjust how loud it gets all right let's see how this fifth sounds Let me turn this fifth into a third and see. That sounds nice. All right, so then let me turn on this bass here because this is a lower octave. Can adjust the loudness. And I can also pan here. You see this pan. I can adjust. I want the bass to be in the middle. And I increase the volume a little. So let's hear it all together and see how it sounds. Let me use a compressor to adjust the gain. Let me turn it up even louder. It sounds really good already, but let me turn it up even louder so you hear. Alright, so you see this are some of the ways you can use it. So now let's see how we can um, activate the choir effect and use these vibrato settings here. So let's even come down to bars. All 
and then in the choir let's see let me solo it so you can hear the difference Let me turn it off so you hear. You can see there's a little bit more spread with the choir effect. There's, there's more spread with it. You can bypass it here if you want. So now let's add more vibrato. Adjust the pitch. Let's just take it all the way here and make it the timing further apart from each other. So it sounds even heavier. And then we're listening. See how that sounds? Now, this choir effect is a standalone plugin from um, Antares as well. There's a standalone choir plugin from Antares. Now, let's hear it with 16 voices and see how it sounds. Alright, so that's it. Now, if you want to have control over your harmonies and your main vocal, what I recommend you do is you can have this right here. You clone it. You can make unique. Then you can link. Maybe you can rename this harmony. Let's say harmony FX, for example. Let's change the color to so it can be easier to distinct something close. Let's use that. All right. So now this is the harmony FX, and this is the harmony plugin. Now they are sharing the same channel. So I'll just simply come here and link the channel itself. And all I need to do is just have my auto tune routed to my main harmony channel. Let's see, auto tune. I remember is I think it's key G major low and then take you somewhere out the way here for that really crazy auto tune style. So now when I come back to harmony engine. All I have to do is turn off or rather reduce the gain of my input. I can mute it or turn it off completely. Let's say I sounds when I mute it. Now you see I have control over my let's let me turn it upside so I'm saying. And then I have control over this. So then I can use effects, maybe reverb, spreaders, enhancers, saturation. Just go crazy with the effects, make it sound even more interesting and real. So now let me turn everything up so you're listening. So now that is how to use this harmony engine plugin you do not always have to use three or four you may just need one maybe you just need a, sub, a low end support or you may need something maybe of the high end supports in the vocal part and that's all you need you may not need to use all and you can go crazy by even making it sound very very unrealistic and you know artificial if that's what you need but for now i think this sounds good and imagine when we add reverb and all other effects and how it's even going to sound even more all right 
All right, so if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, you can also complete this course by clicking the link in the description below. It's available on Udemy. Click the link in the description below. You can take this course or you can also join our Telegram channel where you get access, free access to our kids, loops, and so much more. Even vocal stems are always right here on our YouTube channel so you can easily follow up on our tutorials. I remember so classy. This is SC Suits giving you quality tutorials every day. Cheers.